Hello, 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 Lisa Zimmer here today. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Tuesday. I'm throwing you for a loop with my schedule because I was on an airplane yesterday doing live. So it is Tuesday, January 14th, I think, of 2020. Yay, hey, Lisa. Good, it's working. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Carleen. Awesome. All right, so um, quick introduction if you're new here. I'm Lisa Zimmer. I'm a doTERRA blue diamond. What that means is we are um, in the top um, couple percent of the company for our doTERRA business. What that means to you as wellness advocates is that we know how to get some stuff done, all right? And um, I have taken the last three years 2017, 18, and 19, and developed Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Kits. I got to Diamond Rank and was very disappointed at how exhausted I was, how much work I was doing, and how few people were duplicating me. So I completely spent um, the next six months rewriting the process, coming up with new tools for my team, and watched my team start building for themselves and duplicating. What I mean by building for themselves, right, so I had a few um, real builders, but most of the people were not really building. I was doing it. And so how does that happen, right? So it's the curse of the top and roller. There are two types of people that build in doTERRA. Those that have influence and can roll anyone and everyone that they talk to, and those that help others learn how to talk to others and enroll people, right? So, for example, um, so an influencer might be like a super famous doctor online, right? And it's very easy for them to post a link on their website and tell people to get their and order here, right? Totally different process than what we did. I went belly to belly every single day, I called everyone I knew, I had some influence, and I had a big audience because I'd been in sales, customer service, and marketing for 20 years by the time I started my doTERRA business, right? So if you've never owned a business, never done sales, never done marketing, please don't compare yourself to me. Please don't compare yourself to a super famous doctor online, all right? But what I did was I rewrote how I did doTERRA so that all my team of non-influencers, non-sales people, non-marketing people, non-business experts could do doTERRA and we could do it together and be stable and successful, right? Because if you're enroll every, enrolling everyone yourself, you're not building a doTERRA business that's going to sustain life and sustain for you. Hey, Stephanie. Yay, glad you joined us. Right, so I love to teach people in doTERRA how to share doTERRA with others, start getting your oils paid for, earn additional income so that um, you can supplement your income. And if you have the passion and drive to fight through the challenges of building a business, which aren't that hard, actually, once you have the tools and once you have the understanding, um, we can help you build a successful business. I know a lot of you um, ranked up during um, our WWZD course, What Would Zimmers Do in um, the fall, um, October, November, December. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments so you can share with others how much you love our WWZD course. We have the next course starting at the end of this month. It's kind of already started. I put um, a bunch of stuff in there so that when you guys get entered, you've got some things to work on. For example, there was a some special promos this week. I put a special uh, promo graphic and tips on how to um, fully maximize that promo. So I snuck that in early. So make sure you get to my website, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop and join WWZD7, right? You can also join WWCD6, excuse me, ZD6, which is over, but has tons of great content and material. I have hundreds and hundreds of dollars in every single WWZD, and I only charge you anywhere from $29 to $49, depending on the length of the program and how much content, all right? So I do things a little differently here. I don't spend you out of business. I hope you get a few key tools to help you going and help you build your business, all right?
once you have some of our basic tools, there isn't a need to buy everything over and over and over and over and over again, right? You simply print things at home very inexpensively which are with your own HP Instant Ink account. So what are some of those tools? So the biggest tool that everyone needs, no matter how you're building your business, whether you're building online, building face-to-face, -face, teaching classes, doing one-on-ones, or just enrolling people as you meet them at the grocery store or the bank or an Uber driver or your new neighbor or whatever, doesn't matter. The one tool that everyone needs that you can't get anywhere else is the Intro to doTERRA Trifold, all right? So this is what you use to help every single person get started in doTERRA because it's simple, right? Oops, sorry about the barking dog. I'll go shut my door, hold on. All right, so my neighbor has a really big dog. She's super sweet and cute, but she's very loud. So she's barking over me. All right, so. It's just a simple tool that you take everywhere and use it for everything so that Melba answered it. Melba said, if WWZD taught me anything, don't vomit doTERRA all over people. Find my tribe. Don't waste energy where it's not wanted. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna, that's a perfect segue into the mindset topic we're going to talk about today. All right, so one of the things I want to teach people to do is stop creating more work for yourself and stop spending yourself out of business. Stop assuming that everyone wants to do doTERRA and be obsessed with doTERRA as much as you do. One, that's a growth process. People have to grow into that desire. Two, not everyone's going to, right? A majority of my team is people that do this for a hobby or do it for a little bit of additional income. No one on my team does it like I do, right? Do I have any ill feelings because they don't want to eat, sleep, and breathe doTERRA 24 hours a day and um, share doTERRA with everyone everywhere they go and they do it? No. I treasure them because they do doTERRA how it fits for them. The biggest thing that you're going to find as you grow in leadership is not everyone's going to want to do it the way you do it. And if you expect that or think that changing your process is going to get you those results, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Our biggest enemy or obstacle in this business is ourselves. The market wants doTERRA essential oils. Your audience, your friends, your neighbors want doTERRA essential oils. It's up to you to learn how to communicate, learn how to present that information simply without looking like a cheeky salesperson, right? And so that's where you have to find your passion and your confidence in how you do doTERRA. And that's what this provides. That's what our tools provide. I want to hear in the comments from you um, what our tools have done for you, right? So everybody who loves the trifle, boom, you buy it right now. It's $15, one time forever. You can edit yourself forever. You never have to buy it again, okay? Um, if you update it yourself. If you want me to update it for you every time doTERRA makes a change, then you buy a new file and print them, right? These cost me five cents to print double-sided at home on cardstock or nice glossy paper, okay? Five cents. So you should be handing these babies out everywhere you go. You can put your business card on it, just your regular business card. You can make a business card sticker. For the first time ever for this trip, I printed directly on there. I made a fake business card in Canva. I added that image to my document and printed it. I don't teach people how to do that. We give you tips and tools on how to do that. I created my image in Canva and I loaded it to um, the PDF that I have and I use Adobe Acrobat. So how do you learn how to do those things? You Google it, right? We also, some people like to do sedge2.com. That's a free PDF editor. Right, the point being, whether you're good with technology or not, you can still use this. You get the document, you print it, and if you don't know how to do any of those editing things, you grab a Sharpie and you write your website information on it and you staple a business card to it, okay? This is not hard, all right? Um, that's how I did it when I first made them. That's exactly how I did it. I stapled, I had a thousand business cards, stapled them to the front, bing, bang, boom, done, okay? All right. It sets you apart from, oh, <laughs> Diana, yay. 
So Diana just said almost word for word what I was going to say. So way to go, Diana Webb. The trifold sets you apart from all the business cards that seem to just get lost. Okay, so I learned this. I was in the uh, marketing and direct mail, direct marketing, database marketing business. All right, so what I did was I helped healthcare systems, ironically, um, I'm still in healthcare now, just teaching everyone how to use better healthcare, right? So I taught healthcare systems how to market to their patients, prospects, and audience to get the best results. We never sent business cards. They never sent regular size envelope postcards. We always taught them how to create materials. Well, we created the materials and they bought them from us, right? How to use materials that stood out from the norm. Is this a business card that's going to get lost in a purse and doesn't tell them what to do, what the products are, how to do it? Because most of the opportunities that you're really going to come up against in your doTERRA business aren't going to be classes. You're still going to do classes, okay? So our whole business model is around classes. But the number of people you enroll at classes is it actually going to be smaller than the number of people you enroll into your doTERRA business and team and help by living your normal life, okay? And I want you prepped for normal life, okay? Most of my enrollments, I advertise classes, I enroll people at classes, I keep doing classes, but guess what? By advertising classes and promoting classes, people that can't come because they're too busy still see me, still think of me, top of mind awareness when something goes wrong. When they start losing hair from hormones, they're going to think, oh, I saw that Lisa Zimmer, I need to call her. They're never going to get to a class because they're too busy. But me promoting my classes and inviting them to classes and talking to them when we're out in public and being social and being a caring person helps them remember that when they do need something, they know who to, they know who to call, okay? All right, so I wanna teach you and get you the tools to do that, but I also wanna teach you and get you the tools to get more people to classes and then to enroll them while you're there, okay? So trifold, trifold, trifold. So my last enrollment was someone that we know and I, um, started making conversation. They didn't know what we did for a living. So um, when I'm talking with people, I reference what I'm busy doing. And in some way, I always am busy doing something business related. So I'm traveling for my business. I'm doing this for my business, da -da 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 for my business. I don't need to tell them what my business is most of the time because they're going to say, oh, what do you do for business? Oh, well, let me show you. And I reach into my bag and I grab a trifold out of my um, pencil case and I hand it to them. I say, oh, this is what I do for business. Are you familiar with essential oils? I help people get essential oils into their home to help solve and create healthcare solutions. So if you have, um, and then I say normal terminology, right? I don't say how to neck tension or aches and discomforts. I say what I really mean, right? I help people with that. So they have simple tools at home to take care of it that aren't toxic and going to destroy their liver and their kidneys. So awesome, so fun. You want to know more? Right? I want you to learn the art of conversation, okay? And be comfortable because that's, hey, Miss Mandy. All right. So that, oh, I just noticed my garbage can's in the shot. I never even have a garbage can out. It's always in the closet. What did I do that for? Sorry, I got distracted. All right. So that's another reason your tools have to be simple and your processes have to be one-step processes, right? Because we all got ADD. All we have to do is see a garbage can in a picture and boom, we totally lose focus. So for those of you that taught classes, right? I used to use something that was more than a single page with my audience. And what I watched for two years is I watched my audience stop paying attention and stop listening. Because what happens when they have something that's more than a single page? They're not listening to you anymore, right? Because they got ADD. They have something else to look at besides the single piece of paper, right? 
how long does it take them to get through this whole thing if they're not going to listen to you? Pretty darn fast. So they're back to listening to you, even if they can't focus to save their life like me, right? That is the majority of the world. We tried everything, folks. We tried teaching classes using the product guide. We tried teaching classes using booklets. We tried teaching classes um, without any tools. We tried teaching every speaking way on the planet. And what we found was helping people focus and keeping it simple was success. If your process takes five steps to make it happen, you're doing it wrong. That is basic selling skills, right? When you're talking to people, I'm gonna put up a video again. I did a video way back in like the spring for healthy habits, I think, or I don't know what it was for. It was a spring tour for doTERRA. And they asked me to do a presentation on inviting, right? And your biggest invitation to people isn't to a class. Your biggest invitation isn't to workshop, isn't to a web webinar. It's not, would you like a sample? Your biggest invitation that you need to master and is step one is inviting people to talk to you right then and there and inviting them to buy. They want your product because it's good. Stop denying them the opportunity to get it right now. Every time you add another step to your process to get people interested in your product and enrolling them, you're increasing your statistical probability of losing them and not being able to help them. Because we all have ADD. This is not 1980 where you take 10 steps for a sales process because the only way people could buy your product was to talk to you, okay? That's not the world we live in anymore. The world we live in is short attention span. I want to order it on this website in three seconds or less. That's how much time you have to help people get excited and order your product, right? So if they say, oh, yeah, that sounds great, great. And you do the 60-second enrollment and you help them enroll. Mandy says, just close it down. They have a problem. We have a solution. Are you open to trying it? All right, let's get you set up and I'll help you order and get started. That is not rocket science. And you can remember that no matter how far along you are in your business. Now, when that doesn't work and doesn't help because it's an audience that wants more, right? You do more. The majority of your people don't want to listen to you babble and talk to you 14 times to get started with doTERRA. Every time you delay the process and them getting their doTERRA, you're delaying their opportunity for a better life. I called a woman on the telephone. I had my product. I called a stranger on the telephone because someone told me to, right? If you are not maximizing your relationships in your existing team or your friends and family by asking them, hey, Tracy, hey, Mandy, can I give you a couple of these trifolds with my information on them? And when you hear about people that um, need health solutions, would you refer them to me? I'd really appreciate that. And of course, I'll take you to lunch, I'll buy you a cup of coffee, I'll take you to Starbucks, I'll give you a gift card, whatever. We gotta get the word out and help people. I don't care if they do doTERRA or not. Ask people to refer you. Most of my business comes from referrals. Most of my business now, because I did all the work first, I did the classes, I did the inviting, I got the word out. It would be very rare for people in my immediate sphere of influence, my town, my friends, family, whatever, to not know that I do doTERRA, right? Because I told everyone. So first, if you're not telling everyone, that's an epic fail. You got to tell everyone. Well, I don't want to be annoying. I don't want to post about my business. Why? Why not? Why do you not want to tell people what you do and ask them to help you on your mission? 
Why would you keep that a secret? That's just crazy talk, right? You'll never have a successful business if you don't know how to tell people that you're in business. All right, so tell everyone you know and invite them to learn more, right? So now I'm at the point, everybody knows I do it. Now I just have to knock down the door to the people that weren't ready. Get them to open their window, whatever analogy you like, right? That's what we got to do. And you keep revisiting it. Okay, and you stay in front of people. I just enrolled someone this week who <sighs> has known for five years that I do doTERRA. They weren't ready. It was that simple. Natural health and wellness wasn't their world. They didn't have any problems that were important enough to them to solve yet. Right? That's how you enroll people five years later. They weren't ready yet. Did I give up on them? No. Did I invite them to every class? No, I'm not crazy, right? I make a note, when's the last time I talked to them? When's the last time I invited them to something? All right, so the next time I ran into it, oh, I need to talk to you because I have this problem now. Awesome, be free today. Not a week from now, let me invite you to something else. Can you talk right now? Oh, now's not a good time. When's a good time later today? Let's talk on the phone, right? Help them now because they have their problem now, right? They will come around once they reach the point of desperation on a problem that no one gave the solution to yet, right, Mandy? Read the comments, folks. You're going to learn a lot. You just keep planting seeds. Okay. I swear to God, this business is so simple. And we have the knack in doTERRA and in life of making things way more complicated than they need to be, okay? Stop making them complicated. When I enroll people, I enroll most people over the telephone. My time investment in that conversation is 60 seconds because it's not about listening to me talk. I know that's a shocker when I do these videos and I talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Right. You have to remember on these videos, I'm trying to satisfy the questions and the learning level of 32,000 people in here and watching your comments over there and trying to reach everyone, right? <clears throat> but when you're talking to someone about their situation, their interest in oils, right? I get a phone call. Hey, my friend Susie said you might be able to help me. I have blah, 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 blah. Awesome. I can totally help you with that. Tell me more about that. What else do you have going on? Because a lot of times... Um, when people have one thing, they have a lot of things, right? And it's my job to uncover and help them see all the things they have going on so that when I help them get a kit, because that's the best way to go for them. It's not the best way for me, it's for them. You always have to do what's best for them, right? I don't think about what's best for me when I'm helping someone get their own account and get started in repair. I'm thinking about what's best for them, which is why I've been a successful business person for four to seven for 45 years, right? Because I always do what's best for the customer, not what's best for me. I'm intelligent, and once I do what's best for the customer, I'm gonna figure out a way to maximize my business and profitability because that's how my brain works. Right, so I know to help them get their product right away and satisfy their need. I know to surprise them, delight them with a goodie bag and things that they might not expect, some free recipes, right? Links to videos, surprise and delight, surprise and delight. Invite them to workshops where they get a, something free when they come through the door, surprise and delight, right? Surprise and delight. My business isn't hard. I, I put a lot more effort after I enroll them, right? Because what happens when you get excited and put all this effort into the enrollment process and you're like, oh, I have this product guide for you, here's one. Oh, I have this trifold, here's this. Oh, I have this sample of this, here's this. Oh, I have this book, here, read my book. Oh, I have, right? We get excited because we have all these tools and all these things that we think is gonna excite them to get started in the process. And what happens, for those of you that have this experience, what happens? You completely overwhelm them. You think you're helping them, right? Because you think you're spoiling them and giving them all the things. They haven't said yes yet. They don't need all the things. They need you to stop mauling them with all the things and all the stuff and use your mouth 
simply so that, yeah, I have a solution for that. Shall we go ahead and order that? Let's do it. I'm going to take care of you. It's going to be great. When you converse, you don't have to memorize anything other than a few key, key questions. Karen knows it, right? Because we all did it. We did. We all did it, right? We all did these things wrong, and then we saw it play out in front of us, okay? So as I started duplicating, right, I did those things with some of my team members, and it was okay for them. Right, but that's the minority, not the majority. And you teach for the majority, not the minority. Right? I have some people that loved all the things. So, what did they do when they went to duplicate and enroll people? They started bombarding people with all the things. I literally had a friend of mine who was enrolled by, um, you know, one of my one of my builders who was a friend. Right? She walked in the door, and it was like it was probably a stack of stuff this thick. And she's like, um, so-and-so just got me started in doTERRA, set the stuff on the table, set her kit on the table, and said, it's too much. I can't deal with this. This is just too much. I don't even know what to open or look at. They bulb went off. All she wanted was to be told how to order her product and what to do next. And I handed her the two pieces of paper. I have my oils now, what, plus recipes. And we went through what to use for her to get started. That's it. And stop, right? It's just like anything else. It's like when you first met your husband, he didn't ask you to marry you on your first date. Okay, well, again, if that happened, you're in the majority, right? There were steps to the process, okay? Imagine if he did that, that would have been freaky. Or he said, hey, let's go to bed together on your first date. No, 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 no. Let's follow the process, let's follow the steps, let's put a ring on it, whatever, right? Whatever your beliefs are, don't care. The point is, no matter what you're doing, whether you're helping someone enroll, someone enroll, helping them fall in love with the products, um, whatever, there's steps, right? Don't do all the steps, okay? Make sure that the steps that you are doing are so simple that any dummy can do it. And I get to say that, right? I'm not being rude of other people. I get to say that. Because I was a dummy when I did it. There were no systems to follow. There were no online free videos everywhere for training, which is why my structure was a mess, right? I could have hit diamond in a year, blue diamond at two, and, or two and a half, and um, didn't because there was nobody out there doing what we do. It just comes the free videos, posting them on YouTube, helping everybody, okay? I was a dummy. I had brain damage when I started my doTERRA business. So every single thing that I did run across was confusing and overwhelming because people didn't know how to explain the process. Even just building. How do you build a doTERRA business? Most of us coming into this thinking, oh, we're going to make some salts because we love doing that. We're going to make some scrubs. We're going to make some rollers. We're going to make some sprays and we're going to sell those. Or we're going to sell product right out of our closet because if we've ever sold anything before, that's what we did before. If someone would have stopped and said, here's our business model, it's so simple, you're going to love it, right? Because it is. Here's our business model. It's so cool. You don't have to stock any product. You don't have to make anything. You don't have to sell anything. Here's our business model. We ask people what their needs are, what their problems are. We let them know we have the solution and we help them order it and get their own account. And then we follow up with them and hold their hand and educate them on the products moving forward. That's our business model, folks. That's it. That's the doTERRA business. We help people identify their problems. We provide them the solution and we tell them how to get their own account and order it, okay? Online companies that sell stuff and don't teach classes and don't do all this other stuff, right? They sell stuff every single day because they teach people what the process is and how to do it, all right? That's your job. Your process is I talk to you, I help you order and get your own account, 
We funnel you into our Facebook groups, our classes, our workshops to help you learn more. And then we teach you how to do that too. If your process is harder than that, your process is too hard and you're catering to the wrong audience. Right? Okay. So simple, simple, simple. I know a couple people have their first make and takes coming up. So I want to remind you how simple that is. Because again, all these processes, we just make harder than they need to be. If I run into someone on the street because I did this wrong, remember, I've already done all the wrong. And now I teach you how to do the right. I'd run into someone on the street. I'd get excited. I didn't have a trifold. I didn't even have business cards until I was then, right? And I never use them anyway now, but I never even used them back then because business cards are, are pointless or outdated. Okay, unless you're gonna staple it to the front of your trifold. I'd run into someone on the street and I'd invite them to my next class. What's the statistical probability that I'm gonna get step two out of them, which is they're gonna come to my class? Tell me what you think the statistical probability is. Tell me what your statistical probability was when you did that, okay? I don't invite people to class now, I invite them to have their life changed with me right then and there. And if it's not going to happen, I set up a call, a one-on-one, -on -one, an appointment. I invite them to a class if none of those other things are successful, and I invite them to a class once they've enrolled, right? Inviting them to my class this is my backup plan. Now, all over the internet, I'm inviting people to classes, 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 inviting my team to bring more people to classes because that's another marketing avenue, right? We got all these marketing avenues to get the word out about us, all right? My end goal isn't to get them to a class. My end goal is to get them to get started on their journey with me right now as soon as possible. Yay, Jackie and Tracy are pretty accurate, and John and Angie. So read the comments. Don't overthink it, right? I really, if I want to help, okay, so what we see with people who are successful in doTERRA is that they have a positive mindset. We really, really, really want doTERRA to help create a mindset um, program to help all of you. A lot of you follow me, not a lot, some of you follow me and never implement anything because you're so busy thinking, planning, and learning, and you have no self-confidence, okay? The only way to gain that, really, really, is to do it, see that you can do it, and keep going. But a lot of us are missing, not me, I had brain damage so that helped when I started. I had no doubt I was going to help people because doTERRA helped me. Right. So to improve that mindset, the first thing you have to do is use the product and build your confidence in it, all right? If you're not confident in your product, you don't have to know anything about what the oils do, and that's another huge mistake that we all make, right? We don't tell people about these products right away because we think we have to learn what this product does and this product doesn't. Heck, I didn't even know the names of the blends when I started in my business and enrolling people. I didn't know at all, right? I literally started enrolling everyone I knew by saying, hey, Adrienne, hey, um, Pam, hey, Jenny, hey, Amber, hey, Mom, um, I need to talk to you about these products. They're going to change your life. They're going to help with blah, 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 blah that you can have going on. Um, come over and talk to me, right? Now I do it over the phone or set up lunch or, you know, because they're friends. But back then I didn't know what to say over the phone, right? Now I do the 60 second moment, but I invited them over to my house. Hey, come on over. I got to talk to you about this thing. And you know what I said to help them enroll? And they did. I don't understand any of this. I don't even know the names of everything, but it totally changed my life. And the best way to get it is to get this starter kit. Back then it was family essentials. There was no um, home essentials. It was like family essentials, natural solutions, every oil kit. Right? I said, we got to get you the starter kit and let's do it. It's going to help you. Should we go ahead and order it, right? And then when it comes in, we'll get together and we'll play and we'll figure it out together. And they did, right? So those of you printing 14 different materials for your class and freaking, about, freaking out about the class you're teaching, your biggest focus needs to be inviting people. If they can't come, setting a time to talk to them on the telephone and setting up a one-on-one. -on -one 
people that come to class. Ready? Let's teach. Let's teach a make and take. Let's teach a make and take class. I'm gonna break this down so simple. You're gonna cry. Trifold. Read from the trifold. A make and take. Get the essentials. Make and take. Grab your make and take. I don't care what one it is. Okay, you're gonna transition to that. Hey guys, let's make some stuff and have some fun. Okay. They're five dollars an item, depending on what you're teaching. Ninety-nine percent of the products and the make and takes are five dollars an item. And they can pay for that. They have a question about what's on the handout. Why does my handout not have 16 supplementary pages explaining every single recipe? Because what would happen? They'd stop paying attention to you. What else would happen? They would think they'd need that handout to know how to use their oils, and they don't. What do they need? They need a book. So you're going to say, oh, I'm going to flip open to a handout here. This recipe on the thank you for your service make and take, right, for firefighters, policemen, um, veterans, blah, 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 blah. Um, what's this cool your debt um, recipe? What else does frankincense do? What does aroma touch do? Excellent question, Susie Q. Here's how I know how to do that. You go to Aromatouch and you read the health benefits. You go to Frankincense, you read the health benefits. You go to Cardamom, you read the health benefits, right? They're not going to do that for every recipe and neither are you. That's how easy it is to learn how to use our oils, right? And you're going to get a free book today and I'm going to tell you how. And you give them a free ADC again. It doesn't have to be this book, right? Give them a free ADC again. I'm going to give you a free book today when you get started with your oils with me, with your own account. You're going to get that free, and so you're going to know how to do it, right? Trifold, a make and take handout, a book. I always have a visual, your top 10 oils or whatever kit you're promoting for your make and take. That's it. In fact, I've even had make and takes where I don't have that, right? I forgot extra oils, and I brought just a few recipes or a few oils to make a few recipes, right? And then you tell them, Hey, you're not printing out um, binders of paper. You're not giving them a catalog. You are not giving them a price list. You're not giving them a printout of 50 million other things. You're giving them a trifold. If you're not focusing, neither can they. You're giving them a trifold, and they focus on the trifold. They set that aside. You do the make and take. You set those out laminated or in plastic sleeves so they can see them. Again, they're not distracted because it's a single piece of paper, right? When it's over, you scoop those up, and they say, oh, wait, do we get those recipes? Yes, you do. I'm going to tell you how. When you get your own account today and we help you order your kit or whatever you want to get started with, you're not only going to get these recipes and all this amazing stuff, but you get to go back to the table and make the rest of the recipes. I make two recipes now at my make and takes. You get to go back and make the rest of the recipes now um, all for free when you get started with your own account today. Plus you get this goodie bag, plus you get blah, 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 blah. And you get access to my private Facebook group where we are online and help you 24-7 with everything you need. So how many actual materials and tools did I need? I needed a trifold. I needed a make and take. I print out my class checklist and I follow it so that even I can stay on task, right? That's it. What if they ask for a price list? I have never, ever in all my years had anyone ask for a price list. You say, great, we can... We got a catalog, right? You're going to avoid that at all costs because you know what's going to happen when they open this? Can you focus on that? No, they can't focus on that either. Plus, they have no idea what any of it means. I did not know the word on guard for months and months and months and months and months after I got my account. They don't know what on guard means. They don't know what deep blue means. They don't know what any of it means right so save these what ifs for when it really happens right and don't worry about those things unless they happen you say oh awesome we can get your price list tell me what you're interested in and the problem right you're going to constantly funnel them back to focus they don't need to know the prices of all the items you need to know what their problem is and what they're trying to solve and then you give them a price on that right it's going to do them no good to look at a price list, right? 
because they don't know what their solutions are. You're going to have a catalog with you or a price list with you so that if they add, want to add on a product, they can look at it. But it's like giving them a um, tutorial in Japanese. They don't know what the hell it says, so don't give it to them. Don't give people price lists. You're going to have a confused mind, and they're not going to be able to do anything whatsoever, okay? So your job is to funnel them back to focus. Excellent. What were you looking for, Susie, that you felt you needed a price list for? What issues, what health concerns, what are the things that we want to solve for you today, right? They're not going to ask that in the big class, right? Or if they do, you say, great, we'll talk about that when we sit down with you, and I'll get you prices for what you need. Your job is to funnel them to focus. Yay! So Carla Sadowski, way to go. Guide them to the product. Then, right, if they're like, oh, that's not my budget, awesome, let's talk about your problem, and you have the solution to their problem. So how do you know what the solution to their problem is, especially if you're new, right? If they say digestive health, you grab the digestive health make and take from your Zimmer binder. If they say aches and discomforts, right, um, we've got the top three health concerns in the little printed insert in the files tab. So if they say pain, you've got like the top 10 products to use for aches and, dis excuse me, aches and discomforts. Or we have that for sleep, right? It's in the files tab free. Your job is to help them focus and give them the solution, right? Don't give them all the 50 million moving parts. Oh, because even if they just say, oh, what's for aches and discomforts, and you give them a price list, the Tara has 50 things for aches and discomforts. Focus. Focus, you help them, you say, here's what you need. You don't say, oh, would you like this product or this product or this product, because they don't have a clue what that means either. Help them focus, ask them questions, find out what they need, give them solutions, help them order it. So if someone did that to me, oh, do you have a price list? Of course we have a price list, absolutely. Um, and I'd keep teaching my class, right? And so, um, because that's just me and I'd make a joke out of it and be funny. Um, but if they say, oh, do you have a price list? Yeah, absolutely, we have a price list. Right, so I can help you with that and we'll talk about what you need and we'll help you figure out a price for it. You move on, right, if it's in the middle of your class. If you sit down, they're like, oh, do you have a price list for all these other products? Absolutely, tell me what you need. We have a gigantic catalog. Um, you'll never get through it. Let's figure out what your situation is. Uh, what do you want to solve? Oh, I have this, this, and this. 99 times out of 100, the best thing for them is a starter kit, right? Because our starter kits are created to cover just about every problem. Right, Carla says apply adaptive. It'll help you stay focused. Yay! Okay, so anywho, my mom's coming anytime to go shopping here, so. I need to wrap up, but stop making things more complicated than they need to be. I've got a lot of people saying, oh, I'm creating this supplemental handout to go with your make and take on blah, 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 blah. Stop. Stop. You're making things way too complicated. Every time you add more steps to the process, you're making yourself less and less duplicated duplicatable to your audience. Now, that said, if there's a couple key points that you want to make sure that you reference or make sure you read from the book for your class, right? So say I'm doing one on women's wellness. I'll go through the book maybe and find some women's wellness stuff so that in class I know what page to go to. And on the back of my class checklist for women's health, I might say, oh, for women's health, be sure to point out this page in the book, right? That's as additional as it gets. Because if you create a whole nother handout, now you're overwhelming them, making it so they can't focus. If they have more than one or two pieces of paper in front of them, the entire process, it's too much, okay? They can't focus. They can't make a decision, and you can't help them get started on their health journey, all right? So trifold, make and take handout, book, goodie bag to, sit to display and show them what all they get free, right? Or your promos, but even then, you're going to guide them to what promo they want. You can't put out your promos and say, which one do you want? They don't know. They don't even know what they mean. You're going to sit down. You're going to say, tell me what you got going on. Let's figure out the best option for you. I got this, this, this. Okay, the best thing for you. Small bottle kit. 
with supplements or big bottle kit with supplements. Big bottle or small bottle kit with no supplements, right? Because they're going to tell you, I'm not interested in supplements. Okay, let's just go with the small bottle kit or the big bottle kit with no supplements. Which are you more comfortable with? And you point to it in your trifold, right? They're going to make that decision, right? Because you're going to guide them. Yay, Ann Jackson. Ann, Ann was one of our last um, video tutorials. So I'm going to post the link to Ann's video. Ann just says, simplify my classes changed my business. Anne's last class she did, her last make and take, she got 100% enrollment, eight enrollments. All right, I'm going to post the link to Anne's uh, video interview I did with her. If you stick to the process, you will have success, right? The last probably four or five people that I had on for interviewing to talk about how the Zimmer system has changed their business had 100% enrollments at their class. Is that always the case? No you're gonna have an audience that is not focused or people wandering that weren't open to natural solutions anyway, so please don't set it up so that you're a failure if you don't have that, right? But when you do follow the process and you do stick to it and you have an audience um, that is open to it, you definitely can get 100% enrollment no doubt. So I'll post the links to some of those, right? So awesome sauce. Post your questions in the comments. We'll answer them as best we can. Please keep it simple. Please stop spending yourself out of business. Um, I just had someone told, tell me they, oh, that's my mom coming in. I was like, what's that beeping noise? Um, I just had someone tell me they spent like $2,000 because a, um, someone told them they'd be able to help them rank to diamond in the next year in their business, and they didn't. And so please, 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 Stop spending yourself out of business. A trifold is $15. You get that template, print as many as you want forever. If you're doing it right with HP Insta Ink or another at-home printer, you can put these for five cents, okay? Um, get a book. Get your a couple make and takes to get you started and start teaching, start calling, start inviting, and start building your business and start taking action and start doing it. All right, keep it simple, share the doTERRA, get doTERRA in every home. All right, Michelle says, your best practices are perfect for building a doTERRA business, but also for businesses in general. Yay, thanks, Michelle. Um, she is simplifying and automating her processes at her nonprofit organization. Her teammates are excited for the changes because they will talk and type less. Thank you for all the tips. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so if... Um, we're going to start doing uh, more educational tips on leases and more life and oils about how to build your business successfully regardless of what business you're in. Hey, Daddy, I'm live on TV. Come on in. <laughs> He's running out of the camera. All right, so um, our systems and processes are not just for building a successful doTERRA business. Our systems and processes are teaching people how to build a successful business regardless of what you do. If you're in business and your processes are too complicated and people can't make decisions, you are robbing them of their time, right? You're robbing you of your time and making things more complicated. You're decreasing your probability. You're increasing your statistical probability that they will not buy from you, right? All of these things matter whether it's your doTERRA business or you have friends and family in other businesses, right? My jam is systems and processes and simplifying for success. Happy wheeling! Bye!